Look. How it taste, Bobby? How that thing taste, Bobby? It's busting. It's busting. It's busting. It's good. Isn't it good? Mm-hmm. What's up, guys? It's your girl, Joy, back with another banger. I'm tired, y'all. <laughs> I've been ripping and running all day. Oh, the guilt I feel. But we're not going to be talking about that right now. Uh, There's stuff all over the house, so whatever. So, Connie Chow sent this to me, right? I've never heard of an egg cooker before, egg timer. <laughs> so I'm going to attempt to use this egg cooker to make some deviled eggs. I have made my deviled eggs with you guys before and I said I do have a pretty gross secret ingredient. It's gross but let me tell you, it makes the world of difference. So, and I'm preparing for a mukbang and I'm gonna have deviled eggs. This is the potted chicken meat. So yes, kind of gross, I can't even look at it too much, but it adds such a phenomenal flavor to the devil eggs. I learned this, how to make this maybe 20 years ago. I was never a fan of deviled eggs and I went to a cookout in Brooklyn and hunty, I was like, dang, how she make this? These are good? And I begged my friend to beg his sister um, for the recipe. And I was like, oh, okay. So I've just been using it for the over 20 years because it was before I moved to Texas. So probably a good, did I have kids? I don't even know if I had kids back then. It could be longer, but I just, it's just what I've been using and it's phenomenal. So let's see how this egg thingamajig works. If any of you have ever tried this, let me know. Um, in a comment section below because <laughs> you know I'm gonna let you know child and I'm hungry You know, I like to tell you the time it is 6 15. I've been ripping and running all day As so everybody else kind of relaxed around here today, but that's okay. It was I was doing stuff that I wanted to do Bobby just gave me the eye she's been working on homework and trying to get an internship So I just left spent more than I had so I do have um, buyers guilt right now. All right, so let's open this box and see what's what. Girl, they starting to cry. That's because you being grown. I'm not, I went in real slow. Here, you do it then. Okay. Gotta be gentle. 
see just gentle mom can you put one in the middle Hey, you want to do the last one? You just try to get one to break on things. Just, yeah, work it. There you go. There you go. Okay. That's the best one. Okay. okay. I don't feel it. It fits perfectly. Oh, if I want to do the other three. <gasps> which I don't. That's for the other three. Oh, shoot. But what's this for? Get it. Okay. So then. So then place the lid on the cooker, right? So the eggs are cooking, lots of steam. I still don't know what the time is. I guess I'll just wait to the button. I'm not ready anyway. So I was looking at the recipe in the book for their deviled eggs. Everybody makes deviled eggs differently. Now they do have two ingredients in here I have never used before. Have you ever tried capers or Worcestershire sauce in your deviled eggs? So theirs is mayonnaise, mustard, fresh lemon juice, Worcestershire, and uh, two and a half tablespoons of capers. I like capers, so I think that might be interesting, and I sometimes I put relish. So I think I wanna try it, I might do half. So, and of course, um, salt and pepper. That's interesting. So I'm, I'm looking forward to trying that. So I'm gonna put the um, chicken, my, um, I don't know, potted chicken or chicken spread, I'm going to do that in the whole thing because it adds a great flavor and then I'll, you know, make half and then the other half I'll add the Worcestershire and the capers. Mmm. This is going to be exciting. I love a good devil's egg, honey. Yes. Especially if you know how to make it. And I also add um, horseradish to mine. I picked that up from my friend. So that's, that's something else that I do like to add to mine. It's, it's like it's not right if it doesn't have the horseradish. <laughs> Child, that was fast it's beeping child what i do what out what I, what i do now child and put all the instructions away never lift the egg holder before you open the lid I want to know if they cooked. That was fast. Hope nothing be exploding up in my face. Child, I'm going to let that sit for a minute. Uh-uh, I'm going to let that sit for a minute, sis. I want to know if it's cooked, y'all. That was fast. Bobby, what was that about? Eight minutes? It was no more than 10 minutes. Maybe eight. I'll be boring my eggs a long time. So I don't know if I need to hit that thing again because I like my stuff cooked it hard. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't give you any oil. times. Maybe it's another thing. All right, let me see y'all. Yeah. Is all the water gone? Cause I think it's timed on how much water you got. When the water boils up. Ooh, guys, that's cooked. Let's see what it's like inside. This thing yeah. tried to mess with me and was like, "Oh, you can't change the title of your PDF." That we made for you. You gotta pay for that. Uh, excuse me, I can change it on my files, actually. So, that's there. Trying to play me? Can't play the play. Mm-hmm. You cut it in half? Mm-hmm. 
I guess that's done, y'all. I guess I'm just gonna rock with that. And the onion is for my sandwich. Y'all know I like a good sweet onion, honey. Gotta say sweet, okay? Well, I just bought some, so this is what my onions look like. Sweet, 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 sweet onions, baby. Yummy, that's the yummy, yummy, bad breath goodness. Okay. So, um, yeah. Guys, he cooked it. Let me put this on. Maybe it'll steam it a little more. I did that thing, guys. Child, I'll probably never boil another egg again. But you have to use that pin on the bottom of the cup. Wow, that was awesome. This may have to stay, stay out. And then you can do poached eggs and you can do omelets in here. I'm curious to just see what an omelet is like with some onions, some bacon, some chopped up bacon, some onions. Yes. And some cheese. I'm going to try that next time for us. I'm going to hook us up an omelet, sis. Yes. All right, guys. I am, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm putting some food in the oven to heat up. And then I'm going on a patio to do something. <laughs> All right. Um, I will come back and show you my double eggs. just try that recipe and just throw the cake. I like capers. Wait, wait, wait. Let me try another one and put some capers inside of it. I don't know about 
this one, guys. Look, how it taste, Bobby? How that thing taste, Bobby? It's busting. It's busting. It's good. Isn't it good? Mm -hmm. So this one is with the Worcestershire and oh. a few capers. We're taste testing. Wait, can you take a little bit off? That's a lot for me. Yeah, thank you. I see how that adds a little something. That's all right. The Worcestershire actually adds a little something to it. That might be a regular ingredient for me. It kicked it up a notch. That was busting. What you think, what? Bobby? And you, you taste a little capers up in there? Between the relish. I didn't put that much relish. Oh, you put capers in all of it? No, just on that side. Did you cut the capers up? No. I don't think I got a caper. <laughs> <laughs> but if I did, it was good. Yes, so the Worcestershire adds another layer of flavor, another element to it. Very good. Okay. All right, so let me add some. I forgot the measurements I'm gonna sit them in the fridge a little while and until I get my sandwich ready. Oh my gosh, this sandwich is gonna be good. Good. You hear me? Good. Alright, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you. Until next time. Later.